Hello, this is a training session to show you how to use uh, very fastly and easily the linear static analysis in Midas NFX. First, I will show you how to open the CAD model, define the matter of properties, then to assign the constraint and the load to your model to, to mesh it, and then how to obtain your results and to check it. So it's a really easy uh, model. So I, I will go rather quickly. So first, uh, I will just open a new project and click on this button to import my CAD model. Uh, you can view here, you can import several types of CAD model. So I will click on this one, Cave Joint Pole, open. Now that I imported my model, uh, first thing I will do is to simplify a bit the fillets I have here because uh, they have no impact on the analysis but they can generate uh, not so good mesh on these parts. So I click on the simplify function, fillets, select my parts and find. And you see uh, the software automatically detects all the fillets in the model. So I will select only the fillets below 2 millimeters because they have no impact on the analysis, select and remove. Okay, now I have a cleaner model and I will assign a material to this model. So I click on material and in this window you have a big database and you can choose the material you want. Uh, I want to do it in cost stain stainless steel, so I choose it and I just click on OK. Now in the walk tree you can view uh, the material which are already assigned. So I click on my part, right click, material, and I choose the cost stainless steel. Now the next step is to assign um, the constraints. So support, I will select this face, and I will pin it. Okay. Now I will uh, assign a pressure load to uh, these three faces, the two here and the one here. So I click on pressure and I will select um, these two faces in my mobile. These three faces, sorry. 10 turn per square millimeter. Okay. And you can view uh, the load in green here. Now to mesh the model, it's really easy. Uh, you can use the auto mesh, so you have three types of measure. Uh, here I will just use the high speed tetra measure and click on OK. So now my part is meshed, so you can view the mesh is quite satisf satisfying, so I'll just use this mesh. And now I will create an analysis space, so you click on general here. You can enter a name for your analysis, cable joint, choose the type of your analysis you want to do, uh, and please always verify that your uh, static load and uh, your boundary condition are assigned to your model here. Click on OK, and now uh, click on Perform. Save it. Now the solver is uh, solving your problem. Okay, in the 17 seconds I obtained the results. So now you have to click here in the walk tree to view uh, three types of results for the linear static. Uh, you can view more if you want by inserting analysis results. So for the total displacement, uh, you you can view this part has been deformed quite a lot. Uh, and if we check uh, the deformed shape and the undeformed shape, you can view uh, it has been deformed. You can check the maximum value uh, by checking here, minimum and maximum, and you see 
the maximum value for the displacement is uh, 0 0.008 millimeter. Now, for the solid stress, uh, solid von Mises stress, you click here. And also here you can view the minimum displacement and maximum. And if you want to see where um, the stress is the highest, you can use the isosurface option. So by selecting a value, you will be able to see the stress uh, which is bigger than this value. So here and here. So th these are the places where I apply the pressure. So it's quite log logical to find that. And you can view also the solid uh, safety factor. So here it's a zero. So it means that your design complained with the norm. So you don't have to modify your design. Okay, this was the, f the tutorial for the linear static analysis. Uh, thank you for watching.